So, Garrett, why don't you just tell us what happened in there? Well, uh, I went in and I tried to cash this government issued check from, it was addressed from the Supreme Court in New Hampshire, and it's $500 in the amount of uh, Rich Paul's bail. Can you show us the check? Uh, sure, I don't think there's any incriminating information on here. I don't know if the video should be published before we actually cash the thing, but other than that. Okay, looks like a normal check to me. Yep, and it is a printed check. They say in there printed checks is what they take. Uh, it's from the government. It's here to help. But the computer said no after I was told I had to enter in my social security number twice. Um, I don't know why I had to enter my social security number. That's kind of weird. I, I brought an ID with me. That doesn't have a social security number on it. Um, social security numbers aren't even supposed to be used for identification purposes, so I really don't understand what that was about. But anyway, after I did that and I thought the woman was about to cash it, she then said, I can't cash this check. And I said, why? And then she said, there's a number here you can call to find out. And I said, did the computer say no? And she's like, yeah, the computer said no. And it says, we cannot cash this check, reason number two. Our decision was based on information provided by Certigy Check Services, Inc. The Fair Credit Reporting Act gives you the right to know what is in your check transaction files at Certigy. You have a right to a free copy of your file from Certigy if you request it within 60 days. If you find the information in the file is inaccurate, you have a right to dispute it with Certigy. You can contact Certigy Check Services at 866-278-5478 or P.O. Box 30046, Tampa, Florida 33630. So if anyone wants to contact Certigy, that's how you do it. Maybe I'll try giving them a call and see why they wouldn't cash this check.